the town of Askeaton, County Limerick, sits Desmond Castle, one of Ireland's most significant and impressive medieval fortresses, recently reopened to public access after over a decade of painstaking conservation work. The remains of a Hellfire Club can be found in the castle grounds. Built across the British Isles in the 18th century, Hellfire Clubs can be best described as satirical gentlemen's clubs, used by the aristocracy of the time to shock society and the ideals of the Enlightenment. Lurid tales of drunken orgies and devil worship are recounted in their history. A heritage sign is installed in the backyard of the Askeaton Tourist Office, directly across the River Deal from the Hellfire Club. But instead of a factual mediation of the history of this mysterious building, its story starts 220 years in the future. I went to talk to artist Stephen Brandt, the person responsible for this sign, to find out all about it. When I got the call from uh, Michelle and Sean asking if I'd make a piece for, uh, for this project they were doing, uh, where five artists were to respond to the Hellfire Club, um, I was a bit flummoxed. Up to that point I'd been making um, monumental drawings on floor vinyl, um, very detailed. Um, and my first reaction was to uh, to uh, adapt that style of working to uh, to something around the building, maybe a piece of signage that uh, um, was a cross section of the the Hellfire Club, and then turning it into something uh, slightly different. But uh, it all seemed a bit uh, a bit false and a bit laboured. But um, I then went for uh, for a site visit and uh, given a tour of uh, the Desmond Castle and the uh, the Hellfire Club itself. And uh, uh, the first thing I noticed was uh, one of those heritage signs uh, marking the uh, the history of uh, the Desmond Castle. Um, the graphics were uh, you know, not really up to much, but uh, and the story was trun truncated. And uh, that was it. You know, it just made total sense. I'll make a heritage sign. But instead of um, uh, tracing its history, uh, I thought, what about, uh, what about its history into the future, uh, 240 years into the future, or 220 years into the future? That's what I did. Timeline starts uh, 220 years of the future. Uh, uh, the story starts off with a with a with a kind of a, an attack on uh, on planning regulations and the way they're dealt with in this country. I mean, you know, only a, a week or so ago, uh, the O'Reilly's uh, building on uh, Balls Bridge was uh, was levelled. Uh, to make space for, uh, for a new development without any regard for uh, uh, the backlash that came from it and the heritage that was involved with this particular thing. So, you know, it's, it's symptomatic. So for me to make a point of that in the first few sentences of the signage, uh, I think people get that. People get that. But then, you know, there's no point just uh, dwelling on that. It's a story. So off it goes uh, into... Uh, into levels of absurdism that uh, I think lights lighten to a certain degree the seriousness of it or, or the earnestness. What happens to uh, to this building almost follows a, a pattern of uh, of the original Hellfire Club and that uh, it became a a building occupied by a clandestine uh, and very elite community. And the story then kind of develops, and my, my inspiration for that story comes from uh, um, Mikhail Bulgakov's uh, 
uh, Master and Margarita, um, which is uh, a, a satire on uh, on Stalinist Moscow. The the cat appearing uh, in the uh, upper windows of uh, of the Hellfire Club comes directly from that. Uh, but if you look closely, um, you'll notice that the face of the cat has uh, has the features of um, a prominent tea shock. Drawing and collage are what I do. Um, photographic collage, uh, handmade drawings. Um, I think what uh, what that, that I'm really um, I'm impressed by artists who stick with one thing and continue just doing one thing. But I'm not one of those artists. It's not that I get bored with working in one one particular way. Um, but what I'm frightened of is. Uh, as ideas get in stale. So having spent uh, three months on a monumental drawing that's three meters by two meters, uh, the next thing I'll probably do is a little scruffy painting or a series of little scruffy paintings. Having made a series of uh, scruffy paintings, I might work on a video piece, uh, which then might take me uh, two years, which the last one has done. But in between making those, I might return to making just scrappy uh, collages. And then each of those feed into the other work. Um, and a case of uh, making an exhibition will be, um, be very much about editing. I think uh, the big difference, and, uh, and for, for me working this way, was that uh, uh, when people walk into an art gallery, it's like walking into the cinema. You know, They leave uh, reality behind and they uh, enter a new reality. Um, they, there is a suspension of disbelief, but uh, when it's out there in the real world, uh, all of a sudden there's a clash, uh, and that's why it works so well. Uh, I believe, I mean, for, for a start, it was only meant to be there three months, a temporary, uh, a temporary artwork, and the fact that it's uh, remained there for eight years uh, is remarkable. Um, and it says a lot about Askeaton. In 2013, Stephen Brand's artwork about the Hellfire Club was written about in Ireland of the Welcomes, the nation's predominant promotional publication for all things great and good to visit in Ireland. It reads, There is an information centre in the square, and by the riverside below in the castle a signboard of the rarest kind. It says nothing of the past or present, but predicts happenings in Askeaton in the distant future. Between 2240 and 2263 AD, a succession of horrible happenings are to occur terminating in the destruction of the castle by 36 lightning strikes and a fireball.